G'day Argy Bargy crew, hope you're having a great day and your family's happy and healthy. Um, I've been getting some requests to do a video on dual monitor setup for right hand drive in ETS2. Um, it's taken me a lot of trial and error but I've finally uh, got it to work. Okay, so the, vid the video you're about to watch is basically the same as the uh, original dual monitor setup video that I created before. Um, the main differences that you need to set it up for right-hand drive is the code that I'll uh, provide in the description below and um, the way you set up the screens so that it looks correct. Um, because instead of having your main screen on your left monitor as you would normally in ATS and ETS2, if you're only driving the left-hand drives, you've got to actually have your main screen on your right monitor and your passenger side on your left. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll insert a couple of um, images here so that you can uh, see what I'm talking about as far as monitor setup goes. And it, like I say, as far as the code goes, it will be in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it into your uh, multimon underscore config dot SII file. Anyway, more will be revealed in the video and you'll understand further as it goes along. Thanks, guys. Okay, in this uh, diagram here, it's pretty simple, but this is how I've currently got my uh, monitor set up on my desktop as if you were looking down from above. So as you can see on the uh, right is in green is the right monitor and that is the uh, passenger side of a left hand drive truck. And the left monitor is your main screen so that's where the steering wheel sits uh, to make it look correct and I have the uh, right monitor on a roughly a 50 degree angle so that it looks correct when you um, glance over at your passenger side. Now the next uh, image is of the right hand drive set up for your monitors again looking down onto your desktop. So as you can see here in the green is the left monitor and in black is the right. So your left monitor should be on roughly a 50 degree angle and your right monitor should be directly in front of you because that's where the steering wheel will be now if you can understand what I mean. So this is how you would have it set up for your right hand drive. So again left monitor is your passenger side because it's right hand drive. Right monitor is where your steering wheel will sit directly in front of you. So if you set up your monitors or your monitor in this way it will look correct. If you leave it the way that I have it for the left hand drive it won't look correct it'll look really weird all right so that's how you set them up okay so here's what we've got to do to get this multi monitor set up happening for you the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your documents folder either American Truck Simulator or ETS2 because this will work on both okay so you find your config file config.cfg. Now the first thing I did, if you have a look underneath, I've backed up the config file. I've just saved it as a text file. So always back up, make a backup first in case something goes wrong. That way, if something goes wrong, you can just reinitiate this backup that you've made. So all I did was I copied this. Oh, sorry, yes, all I did was I copied this and then made a backup of it and called it backup text. That way, if I want to, I can always revert back to the original. So find your config.cfg, make a backup of it, save it in the same file. That way you know where it is. And uh, I've done that a couple of times. I've made a couple of backups when I've um, tried different settings just to be on the safe side. So back it up, find this file, back it up. Then once you've backed it up, right click on the, the original edit it and find, go to edit, find and find multimon underscore mode. Click 
find next and you'll see it down here multi mode multi mon underscore mode it will be at zero for you if you haven't changed anything if it's at zero change it to a four that makes it a multi monitor setup okay so change multi mon underscore mode to four it'll probably be zero in your case then once you've done that click on file save and close it so now your config file is set up to accept multi monitors all right once that happens you'll find a another file in the same area called multimon.config oh sorry multimon underscore config dot sii i'll leave all these names in the description so you don't get too confused okay so multimon underscore config sii make a, a backup of that as you can see I've, I've done a backup as well so make a backup of it just to be on the safe side in case something goes wrong and once you've made a backup right click on that click edit It'll give you a copy of all this that you can simply cut and paste into your multimon underscore config dot sii file all right so you'll have a copy of this just copy it paste it in and away you go don't in other words you're just you're completely copying this and dropping it over the into your multimon config sii nothing else okay this will then set up your multi monitors if you've got two 27 inch monitors at 1080p i'm not sure if it'll work on any other size monitor again this is just what i've done so if you've got two 27 inch monitors at 1080p this will definitely work i'm not sure if it will work on other size monitors but it won't hurt to give it a try because you've backed up your multi monitor config. So if it doesn't work, you can always revert back to that. All right. All right. So once you've done that, what you need to do, you need to go to either your AMD or Adrenaline software to set up your actual monitors into one monitor. In AMD, okay, Adrenaline Edition software, you go to Gaming, Display, okay, and then down here it'll have AMD iFinity, all right? This is for AMD. AMD iFinity. All you have to do is simply click on Quick Setup. Bang. Now. I don't know if this is going to work on the recording. Screen has gone blank. But that's all right. What I've done now is I've set it up to stretch across both screens. You can't see that because unfortunately it's on. It's I'm recording on the wrong screen. <laughs> anyway, it worked. Now I'm just going to go back into Adrenaline and turn it back. You can then just go down to AMD iFinity and discard setup and click yes. Now it'll start to come back from the blank screen and you'll see the setup again. I hope. Yes. Okay. So now we've come back. But that's all you've got to do. So down the bottom here, unfortunately I can't show it because of the way I'm recording. But if you click quick setup down here, it will set up the iFinity which stretches the screen across both screens. All right? So that's AMD. In NVIDIA, I, I think it's called Surround. Surround. I think it's just called Surround or something like that. I haven't got NVIDIA, so I don't know what it's called, but it's basically the same thing. You've just then got to uh, find that setting in your NVIDIA control panel, click that, and it will stretch the one screen across both. All right? So that's it, basically. That's all you've got to do. So running through those steps again, find your config file. Quickly do it for you. Uh, da, 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 where is it? Documents, American Track. Find your config file. Right-click on that. Edit. Change. 
your multi-mon mode from zero to four. Boom, done. Then the next one is your mul backing them up every time. The next one is your multi-mon config. Right click on that before you do, make sure you back it up. Then I'll provide this as a text file. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can then copy and paste it into that folder, that file. I'm sorry. If that file doesn't exist, all you've got to do is make one. All right. And then plonk this into it. All right. So find multimonconfig.sii, copy and paste this section here, which I'll leave in the description as a text file or on my community page. Either way, I'll leave a link to it and copy and paste that into that file and you're basically ready to go because then all you've got to do, go to AMD software. Again, I'm not going to do it because we'll lose recording. Click on quick setup here. And it will then set up the dual, a dual monitor for you. You can then, once you've finished doing that, you can just click uh, discard setup and it will go back to your normal um, view of the two different monitors. Same thing in the NVIDIA. Click the surround, I think it's called. It will then stretch the one screen across both. Once you've finished, go back into NVIDIA and click uh, undo. I'm not sure what the settings are in the video, but they're very similar and you, you'll be able to find it. Okay, so I hope that helped. And if you've got any questions, just leave them down in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, and yeah, so if it did help, like the uh, video, subscribe if you haven't. It's uh, free, you might as well. It helps me out. And uh, yeah, share it, let people know. And hopefully uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.